back to basics. We're going to talk about functions today. Who's ready to talk about functions? Anytime you're given a bunch of points, it's called a relation. Sometimes what we have to do, though, is find out if it's a function and list those points here. Um, all I have to do is list out the points. Easy. Input is always an X value. Output's always a Y value. Input is also known as the domain. So if you were to see the same type of problem, it could be input, it could be domain, it could be X. Input is X, output or range is Y. So in this case, uh, I have one going to three, which means I have the point, if I can get this, one, three. I have two going to six, which means I have the point two, six. I have three going to nine, which means I have the point three, nine. And I have four going to two, well, <laughs> which means I have the point four, twelve. Oh, boy. <sighs> uh, similarly, I have zero going to zero, which means I have the point zero, zero. I have two going to one, which means I have the point two, one. I have two going to negative two, which means I have the point two, negative two. And I have four going to negative three, which means I have the point four, negative three. Easy. Easy. Now what I have to do is determine if these guys are functions. You can determine if something is a function if every input goes to exactly one output. In other words, the inputs can't repeat. It's as if I were to take a dart and my darts were labeled negative nine, negative two, negative or regular five and 12. And if I were to throw them at targets, my negative nine would hit it, it would give me zero points. My negative two dart would give me five points. My five dart would give me 10 points. And my 12 dart would give me 10 points. And you might be like, well, hold on, 10 is used twice. You can't do that. Sure I can. If I'm playing darts and things are listed, 1 point, 2 point, 3 point, and I hit 10, and then I throw a dart and I hit 10 again, that's fine. So this is a function because every X value is used exactly once. Every input is used exactly once. This guy, on the other hand, is not a function. So if I were to talk about the same kind of dart scenario, if I have five darts, it looks like, and I label, if I write on each start, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two. And if I were to throw negative two, it would get me four points. And if I were to throw negative one, it would get me three points. And this is where it gets all weird. If I throw zero, it will split in half and hit two different targets, five and six, which is impossible. You can't do that. Zero cannot go to two different places. I lost my pen. So the, the fact that an X value splits off and is used twice that's what makes it not a function. The mapping diagram represents the cost of reserving a hotel room for different numbers of nights. Is the cost a function of the number of the nights reserved? Well, let's see. One is used once, two is used once, three is used once, four is used once. Yes, it's a function. Describe the relationship between the cost and the number of nights reserved. Well, it looks to me that every extra night or each night costs $85. I think that should do it. I mean, it's a positive correlation if you want to say that, but I think that's describing that real life problem well enough. The table shows the cost of purchasing one, two, three, or four t-shirts from a souvenir shop. Now, if is the cost a function of the t-shirts purchased? Well, if I buy one shirt, I pay 10, or if I buy two, I pay 18. Oh, they're giving me a bargain. Ooh, if I buy three, 24. If I buy four, 28. Well, look at that bargain. Why would I go there and only buy three shirts? It's wacky. Describe the relationship between the cost and the number of t-shirts purchased. Well, does, okay, well, it actually asked me that. How does the cost per t-shirt change as you purchase more shirts? Each additional shirt 
each additional shirt has a small price reduction. So it went up $8, and then it went up $6, and then it went up $4. So we could say by $2. So one shirt, I paid 10, and then I only had to pay eight more, and then I only had to pay six more, and then I only had to pay four more. Okay, that's it. Functions, relations, nothing crazy there, nothing wacky about it. Easy peasy, t-shirt sleazy. T-shirt sleevesy. Mmm, I just made that up. I'm so good. Bye.